Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new day of Road to TT World 2019. There's the game. <laughs> Don't know why it was uh, being delayed so much. Thank you so much to everyone who's here. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to leave a like. It really helps out the channel. And yes, this is not um, a joke. Uh, Gosler, Azor, Gosler, Gosler, Azor, Gosler, my cargo decks um, did well this past weekend. Um, I think specifically at one League Cup, um, which is uh, really funny. Um, three of them made top eight. Uh, all three of them made top four, and then I believe uh, Gosslord ended up winning. Um, it's an interesting concept. I feel like you could extrapolate this to Buzzle, and it might be um, equally good, or maybe a little bit better. Um, but yeah, let's review the deck really quickly, and then we'll play with it, and we'll see. Um, we'll see what happens. So. Um, we have the 4-4 Zoark GX line, uh, 210 HP ability trade. Um, once you're in your turn before you attack, you may discard a card from your hand if you, do, if you do draw two cards. And then Righteous Beating deals 120 damage. Um, 120 damage and uh, with a choice band that's 150. And because we're running basic dark energy, we can use Trickster GX, which is really, really cool because um, copying different attacks is potentially useful. Zombie Project, <laughs> thank you so much for the five bits. Very kind of you. Um, so we are pairing Zork with good old Macargo, smooth over, um, which allows you to search your deck for any card, shuffle your deck, and then put that card on top, which um, then you can draw with trade, which is really, really nice. And, um, and then we have the Gosler GX, which I can tell um, it's really calling to the attention of people. 210 HP, it's an Ultra Beast, which means you can load it up with Beast Ring, and that's the whole idea behind this deck. Um, the 8 Sloppily Attack, you probably won't want to use it, simply because um, all the cards in this deck are super valuable, and we do run uh, a lot of energy, however, uh, not quite enough to justify using it Sloppily on turn 1 or whatnot. We do have Tyrannical Hole, 180 damage for 5 energy, which is really, it's a really good number. With Choice Band, that's 210 HP, it's a really good amount coming from a basic. Um, it has the same HP as Zork, which is really nice. It shares the same weakness as Zork, which that lets it down a little bit, but fighting doesn't seem to be as popular right now. And then you do have the Glutton GX attack, which deals 100 damage, and if your opponent's Pokemon is knocked out by damage from this attack, you take two more prize cards, which is actually pretty cool. And we do have Choice Band, um, anti Bard Field to increase that damage output. We don't have Professor Kukui, but getting all the way to 160 damage, which would be 100, 110, 140. Yeah, 160 is just not quite enough, but um, maybe a few turns of spreading with Tapogo could be useful. Um, one Tapu Goku, one Orange Guru, and then two Tapu Lele. And you guys are asking, um, or saying that Gosler is covering a little bit of um, the deck. We have supporter counts. We have triple Cynthia. Yeah, so Cynthia is at a yeah. Cynthia is at a three count. Uh, Apricorn Maker is at a one count. We have one Lily, one Judge, one Isola, triple Kuzma as well to make sure that we are targeting the right Pokemon. And then we have the consistency uh, cards: four Nest Ball, four Ultra Ball, three Timer Ball to make sure that we get going. And we set up our engine with Zorak and Macarlo. Um, we have the Triple B string so that we can load up on uh, Ghost Lord. And I can tell that we're actually. Um, like, we might potentially want a fourth one, but we're hoping that uh, Smooth Overing plus Traits will find us the two that we need to just like drop Ghost Lord and then power it up. Um, we have the one Palpat to reuse supporters, we have the Stretcher to get back Pokemon, and then we have two Choice Bands in case we need to deal uh, 210 damage with Gosler. So, let's see if this deck can actually work as people were saying. Um, let's do Darkness, okay, that didn't help me move up there, okay. So we'll see how we can do with this deck. Um, I feel like this is an inferior version to Zoro Rock. Probably, but it's okay. It's okay. Okay. 
And Henry, thank you so much for the 200 bits. Very kind of you. And we have a Slugma start. Can Apricorn Maker on turn one, and we are up against a fighting type deck. So, right off the bat, we're gonna have a little bit of um, trouble, I guess. And then, this Ultra Ball is also gonna be quite costly. I don't think I wanna reveal that I have Gustler just yet. Um, but yeah, this is not looking great. This is definitely not looking great. Um, Zoro Garb and Zoro or Quival in this current meta. And why? I mean, Garb did just win worlds. Like, having Garb means you have a, a soft item lock, which is really nice. And then um, Zoro Quival. Uh, there are a lot of abilities being played. There's extra Macargo, there's Heavy Zorg, there's Rayquaza Beaker Vault, there's Magnus Zone. So there's a lot of abilities that you can punish by playing that sort of deck. Um, Rafa, thank you so much for the 500 bits. Very kind of you. Thank you so, so much. Thank you so much. Um, will I be showing who's the beat leader? <laughs> Just in case Rafa shows up. Yep. So I didn't realize I wasn't showing that. Let me just make sure that that is showing correctly. And there we go. There's the uh, beat leadership <laughs> on screen. And hey man, is Alteri GX with Zora a good idea for a deck? I feel like it's a bit too slow. Um, I feel like it's a bit too slow. I want, I, I mean, the new, the new Prism supporter, the land supporter, and then the Altari GX with like other Altarias, I feel like that has some potential. Um, it's something I want to try, but I don't know why they didn't give me. Um, they didn't give me Dragon Majesty yet, so I can't feature Dragon Majesty cards right now. Um, however, however, um, I mean, it has potential, right? Maybe that's how you combine both cards. Okay, so we will be able to evolve. We will have the Vard Field, which is potentially very important to deal with those puzzles. And then let's trade. I think I'm gonna trade maybe yeah the orange guru seems better than trading these other cards we're gonna try and go with a with a guzzler gimmick as much as we can here so we deal 60 damage not bad next turn we do have the KO with the bard field and zork which is nice that would activate sledgehammer but so be it um and Buzz Andre, any idea about a Weavile Lelis Pred Damage deck? I mean, heavy Weavile, heavy Tapu Koko, um, four Shrine of Punishment, that would work, right? That would definitely work. <laughs> very nice, Rafa, very nice. Okay, so we see a Choice Band, we see a Brooklet. Um, Henry, wow, thank you so much for the 400 bits. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so much. Um, okay. So, what's my play here? Is it to bench Guzzler, attach TCE? I do need either Choice Band or the other Devoured Field, though. I think it's what I have to do. And then I will Lily for three. Oh, and I get neither. So let's timer ball. And I I mean I would love to get my cargo to save my slug mod, but I don't think I can. Hmm. And then <laughs> Rafa, thank you so much. Thank you so much for the bits. Very, very kind of you. Very, very kind of you. <laughs> okay, so now we have double trade. Yeah, we have double trade before. Um, 
and I've thinned as much as I can. Okay, this allows me to thin a little bit more. Yes, perfect. Okay, so we are guaranteed the KO here now. We are indeed guaranteed the KO. Um, sucks that I will have to take the KO with a Zork, but it is what it is. And Giacco, thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for your support. Very, very kind of you. Very, very kind of you. Now, I'm choosing Choice Band here. And Henry, wow. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much, guys. You are very kind. Thank you so, so much. Um, okay, so I'm choosing Choice Band. Wow, Giacomo. <laughs> Thank you so much. Out of the blue, thank you so much for the support, guys. It really means the world. Thank you so, so much, guys. Thank you so, so much. Wow. Wow, guys. Thank you so much. I guess we have a third, a third competitor in this pit war. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so, so much. <laughs> Rafa, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Very, very kind of you. Okay, so our goal this turn is to use Goslard to KO Boswell. Henry, thank you so much for the pits. Okay, this is this is tough because I'm ten damage short. I am 10 damage short of KOing that puzzle, so I need either another choice band or Giacco, thank you so much for the extra 50 bits. Thank you so much. Ah, oh, this is tough, guys. Because I have the Guzma and I have the Beast Ring, but I'm missing. 10 damage short. Maybe I should have grabbed the stadium. And Palladium, thank you so much for choosing to use your Twitch Prime on the channel. And see, the thing is, I need the old B-string as well. I need the old B-string. And I can't get all of those cards at the same time. That's the biggest thing. And Glodon GX only deals 100 damage, which is not a KO on anything I need to take a KO right I need to take a KO um, and Henry how many subscribers are we from reaching the goal we are uh, 35 subscribers away from reaching the goal of a hundred yeah I think I think we can only take Diancy right or we could take out another baby buzz, but I think we take out Diancy. The issue with taking out Diancy though is that I have to smooth over. Rafa, thank you so much for the 101 bits. Um, the issue with taking out Diancy is that I have to smooth over for a basic. And then I'm gonna lose this orc to this puzzle. Yeah, this is just too much. And thank you for the extra 100 bits. Wow, you guys. <laughs> This is incredible. Thank you so much. Um, probably should have be stringed first. Uh, yeah, I can't do anything else, right? Then I lose this org, and then what? Like, this isn't ready to attack. I will have nothing behind this. Yeah, our gimmick just didn't. We needed too many cards. Maybe if I had searched for the stadium. No, the stadium only gave me plus 10. Yeah, maybe if, I, if blah, maybe if I had searched for the stadium instead of the choice band, if the stadium was still there, then I could have KO'd with Cosplayed, maybe. Yeah, wow, thank you so much. And Henry for the extra two bits as well. Thank you so much. <laughs> Very funny looking. But thank you so much. Wow. Hello, Diamond Solo. Um, 
I needed to cocoa spread early. Potentially, yeah, cocoa spread would have been nice, but I mean, my hand didn't allow for that, right? My hand definitely didn't allow for that. So I think I'm gonna concede here. There's nothing I can do at this point. Um, obviously, fighting type decks are the most difficult decks uh, to go for or to beat. Um, Gago, Henry, and Rafa, thank you so much for the bits. Once again, you guys are awesome for choosing to support the channel. I really, really appreciate it. There's Rafa once again with three more bits. And wow, thank you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so much. Very kind of you. Very, very kind of you. Okay. So let's try again. Let's try again with Gustlord. Let's try again with Gustlord. And we're gonna start the Gustlord. <laughs> Oops. Oopsies. Eh, Kevin, justamente el siguiente deck que voy a mostrar es de Lapras y lo combinas con Aquapatch y Silvali. <laughs> Okay. And we're up against Rayquaza here. Maybe you need the double Professor Kukui that the original list had. Um, in order to be able to hit for 180 with Zork. Yeah. Maybe that's a thing. I think I'm gonna eat sloppily here. I actually think I'm gonna eat sloppily this upcoming turn. Choice band, there's a lily. Already lost an energy recycler, which is good news. Already lost an energy recycler, which is good news. There's an energy and hmm. We're gonna see the Mysterious Treasure for the Mars Shadow, I'd imagine. Either that or another um, Rayquaza based on the energy he discarded. It is another Ray, so no Mars Shadow yet. No Mars Shadow yet. Ooh, there's a second energy recycler. That's really good news. That is really, really good news. Okay, so I don't think choice bands are going to be necessary here. Although Acerola probably isn't going to be necessary either. Um, so we'll get rid of these two. And then I'm gonna grab Lele for the Apricorn Maker. And I think I'm gonna eat sloppily, right? I think I'm going to eat sloppily here. No reason not to. Right? No reason not to. Uh, double Nest Ball. I'm gonna grab one Zerua and one Slugma. I'm hoping that my opponent won't be able to deal um, 210 damage next turn, right? And I basically need two energy in order to... Ooh, one DC is prized. I need to eat sloppily one DC and one energy at least. So this could be costly, but we'll go for it. Ugh, only one DC. Oh well. And we lost the other Gustlord, and we lost a ton of um, <laughs> a ton of consistency in the Nest Ball, the Ultra Ball, and the Zorua. So not great. Not great. Um, if my opponent chooses to Tempest here, I'm definitely going to smooth over for a Judge. 
right? And then I might eat sloppily again, unless I find a dark energy. Totalmente acuerdo, RMP0. Totalmente acuerdo. So yeah, guys, the next deck that I'm playing after Gothlord is going to be um, Lapras Silvali. And it's something that I that I supposed that it made sense. Um, and I want to give it a try and see if it can work a little bit. Yeah. Wow. Goes for the Volkner. For the Mysterious Treasure, for Mar Shadow, or for another Ray? For another Ray, okay. Very costly discards for my opponent though, but imagine if I had, if I, oh, there's a Mar Shadow. If I had gotten a Darkness here with Tyrannical Pull, I could already be attacking. And we're gonna see the Tempest. So 100% I'm judging here, 100% I am judging. Giacos, thank you so much. Trust me, what you did, <laughs> thank you so much for the follow. What you did is, it, like, it has no... I can't thank you enough. Thank you so much. Um, like, any form of support is really helpful. Um, but what you just did is really, really, really kind. Thank you so much. Generally, thank you so, so much. Okay, so I'm giving up on my choice bands. And then, I, I mean, I could end up using another cost alert, so let's rescue stretcher both. And then we judge. So that we bring my point down from 10 to four, right? Double Zorik, although no more Zoruas. I also get a DC, which is the least useful energy. So am I going to eat sloppily again? <laughs> Am I going to eat sloppily again? Yeah, let's go for it. <laughs> Darn. <laughs> Two Cynthia's, one Dark, one Lily, and one Peace Ring. Oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, I need one darkness. With one darkness, I would have been happy. With one darkness, I would have been happy. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, at least Lele can weaken this Rayquaza. Like, I don't mind weakening this Rayquaza, because then if my Lele goes down, then I can use Glut on GX and take like four prizes in one turn, which would be... <laughs> Really, really nice. Um, <laughs> oh, come on. My opponent... <sighs> Off of the judge finds the Vika Vault. Off of the judge finds the Vika Vault. I don't think anything here is worthy of using Orangurizo Dalton. Oh, come on, where can be every time. Yeah, we're not going to win. <laughs> we are not going to win. Because sure, we can, I mean, we'll do it once, right? We'll pull it off once. <laughs> we're gonna pull it off once and then we lose the Gosslord and then we lose the game. Ugh. Those, those eat sloppilies were just so bad, so so bad. I mean, I'm doing this just because I can't tyrannical hold, but we've already lost. Yeah, we needed my opponent to not set up that big hold. If my opponent doesn't set up that big hold that turn, then maybe, maybe we have a chance. Uh, but our judge was ineffective in preventing the, in preventing the big hold. So nothing you can do there. Right, nothing you can do there. I'm just gonna concede here, guys. We lose the Ghost Lord, we have nothing to, to pressure my opponent. Yeah. Um, RMP0. 
Uh, Ultra Prism Weavile, the one that deals 50 damage for every ability. I agree that seems um, like a really good card. Um, a Weavile Garbiter Buzzle deck with Shrine of Punishment sounds like a good, like a good call. Um, <laughs> I mean, Bird Boy, I, I needed my opponent not to set up that Vika Wolf indeed, but I, I did judge him, right? He had 10 cards, I brought him down to 4. He got it, he got it, but that's why I mean. Obviously, the best way to beat, um, <laughs> the best way to beat Vika Wolf is for them to never set it up, but realistically, they are going to be able to set it up. Yeah. Realistically, they are going to be able to set it up. Okay. So, let's see if we can go first. Yay, we can go first. I think we're up against another Requaza deck based on the sleeves, the coin, and the deck box. Ooh, Azorua here would have been an insane start. Azorua there would have been an insane, insane start. Okay. I have the worst luck against Vigo Bolt players, right? Oh my gosh, look at this hand. Speaking of the worst luck. <laughs> Is this Crackler's Gosslord? Um, I mean, it's it's based off of theirs and uh, Saxamora's list. Yes. Not only did we mulligan one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Not only did we mulligan three times, but look at our hand. <laughs> oh my gosh. Why does PTCGO hate me this much? <laughs> oh my gosh, this is such a joke. This is such a joke. PTCGO gives me this hand and then gives me four tails in a row. Oh my. Grave, thank you so much for resubscribing five months in a row. That's a lot. Thank you so much. That's very kind of you. Very, very kind of you. Quad Tails, Dead Hand, Slogma Start. Can't get much worse than this. Can't get much worse than this. And seems like my opponent is playing um, Rayquaza, yeah, along with Tapu Pulu, which kind of makes sense. Chooses to Stormy Winds. And there's a Cynthia. Slug must tell is the way to go indeed. <laughs> you always have to be positive, right? Okay. One turn a little bit late, but... So I guess the game, by flipping all four tails, was telling me to be patient. <laughs> The game was actually telling me to be patient because I was going to get a good top deck. So I shouldn't be um, doing that. <laughs> okay, I am very tempted because I have the double beast ring. I am very tempted to go for a Gosler, but I think I have to wait. And then we just pass. So, I mean, we're in the game, right? Probably a bit far behind. It's like we went second, right? Because we drew past, it's like we went second. The game was telling me to play Eva Soda. Potentially, yeah. Potentially. Potentially. There's a choice band. There's a switch. And 
Greer boy? Yeah, sure, you can send me a deck to table one. I'll get back to you when I can. <laughs> uh, this is not Zoro Cargo repo. And hello, Tama Drummer. Okay, so the timer ball. <laughs> Zero out of six. Zero out of six flips. Um, okay, so I'm gonna lay lay for judge, right? I mean, the judge will probably be priced at this stage. No, it's not. Okay, so lay lay for judge, and then we'll see. <laughs> Timer ball, right? Timer ball. Such a good card. Such a good card. I should do Zoro Ninja. I will eventually, I Berserk. I will do Zoro Ninja, Zoro Deciduai. And there's the well played by my opponent. I mean, if we could knock out that Grubbin, we wouldn't be in a terrible situation, honestly. We wouldn't be in a terrible situation. <laughs> I flipped six tails in a row with Timer Ball. Just this game. Just this game. Okay, we see a Risky Stretcher. What are these meme decks? I mean, people, I asked last time, people wanted me to use uh, Gosler, and they did, so here we are. <laughs> so here we are. There's a Vika Vault, our Slogma is finally gonna go down. We we judge my opponent and he just gets the raw Vika Vault. <laughs> this is crazy guys, this is actually crazy. How is it that I managed to draw this badly every time? <laughs> that was off of a judge to four. That was off of a judge to four. How? How? <laughs> How? Like, what water is this man drinking? I want some of it. I want some, like a little, a little bit of that luck. Just a little bit, right? I don't want it all, but. Both my opponents, <laughs> both my opponents in the previous two games, I've judged them and they've gotten the vehicles out of that and the most beautifully perfect hands. But okay, the deck is telling me, Paolo, calm down. I got your back. I got your back. Are we actually going to pull this off? I mean, we are, right? We are. We actually are going to um, double B string into a Gosler. <laughs> uh, which card do I get rid of? The Cynthia? Yeah, the Cynthia. I mean, the deck just made up for for the bad draws. Yeah, I mean, the deck is telling me, be patient, Pablo. Six tails is nothing. Six tails is absolutely nothing. Boom. Boom goes the Tapu Bulu. Boom goes the Tapu Bulu. <laughs> what is this game? <laughs> what is actually this game? What is actually this game, guys? If I win this match, I think our next emote will be Gosler at this point. <laughs> okay. Volkner. Uh, Volkner gets in the choice band. Volkner gets in the choice band and the energy. And then he double. He strong charges and knocks me out. So we still lose. Yeah. 
we still absolutely lose. Unless my opponent doesn't have another choice band. Or unless he misplays. Unless he misplays. Um. Okay, Mysterious Treasure also works because he gets another ray, uses Stormy Winds, and that's fine. So we're still going to win. I mean, we're still going to lose this game. Forty-five tails, I Berserk. What deck were you playing? <laughs> what deck were you actually playing? Wait, what? Mars Shadow? There's the choice band. There's the energy. Okay, so never mind. We're still going to lose. <laughs> we are still going to lose, guys. We're still absolutely going to lose. What do I think of Zoro Weavile? Zoro Weavile seems like a very good combination right now. Zoro Weavile seems like a very good combination right now. Rayquaza too good or is this deck really bad? <laughs> uh, despite getting that absolutely nuts hand, we're still going to lose. I mean, because we had a, a draw pass start. What is this deck? How do people win with this type of decks? I guess they flip heads. That's step number one, right? I guess they flip heads. That's a good start to winning. Flipping heads. Okay. Wait, what? Oh, wait, what? Oh. My opponent didn't strong charge for two. What? How? On earth did this just happen? Oh. How? What? What just happened? What just happened? How did my opponent not get that knockout? <laughs> I don't what? Oh no, we have no more dark energy. Oh, that means summer price. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's two dark price. No, there's one dark price. Oh gosh. That means we're in trouble. That means we are in trouble. I might have to use our Anguru to put back a darkness. Uh oh. Uh oh. And then tyrannical hole. <laughs> and Yang sends, um I mean other than Google, I have the same information as you do in terms of um, value of Pokemon cards. Opponent was out of energy indeed. Opponent was out of energy indeed. And Tama Drubber, um, Vika Ray is definitely a good call right now. It's a very strong deck. Okay, if my why would you promote the Vika Volt? If my opponent's plan is to Guzma KO my Zorg, then I oh, trade away the choice band. I made another mistake. Well, I guess I didn't. Um, because I can just copy Nature's Judgment. Um, if he, if he Guzma KOs my Zorg, then Gosslord KOs the Bulu and we win. If he KOs my Gosslord, then with the Darkness we use Trickster GX, we copy Nature's Judgment, and then we win. So it's a win-win no matter what. It's a win-win no matter what. Why are, play why are people playing Sylvian Guardi Swampert? Uh, Letrandier, because I guess Andrew Mahone made that deck? I have no idea. And Dalton, yeah, I mean, that's gonna be the plan if Gosler survives, of course. 
if Gosler survives. Hello, Wadling Corgis. Thank you so much for being here. Um, Nader Tater, why don't I and Azul do another best of seven in standard? We just haven't talked about it. Um, we could. We just haven't talked about it, but um, if you guys want to see it, we can definitely do that. Okay, my opponent just told me wins the way the second energy cycler. That's a hundred percent game. That is a hundred percent game. Uh, that's fair enough, Tama Drummer. Swampert is like Super Zork, except it's a stage two, so not as easy to pull off. And wow. <laughs> wow. That was intense. I wanted to use, if Gosler survived that turn, then I wanted to do um, Gosler's GX attack on Marshadow. Yeah, that was a plan. Um, <laughs> that, was, that was a game. That was a, a roller, an emotional roller coaster of a game. Like, we started off like this, and then we topped like the Lele, and then we got wrecked, and then we got the beautiful hand, and then my opponent didn't KO, and then we ended up winning, which is actually insane that we won that game. Um, but anyways, guys, if you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to leave a like. It really helps out the channel. If you're watching on Twitch, don't go anywhere. Now we're going to be using a Lapras Silvalli deck to see if that deck has any merit. Yeah, we'll have to see if that deck has any merit in the current standard format. So don't go anywhere, guys. I will be right back. And Jobro, when are we getting the Guzzler emotes when we get to 100? In order for me to request another emote or commission another emote as well, um, we need to break 100 subscribers. I can't, I can't add more emotes until we have more subscribers. So it's up to you guys. Uh, but the next emote would probably be Gosler, just based off of uh, this last game. <laughs> but anyways, guys, I will be right back in just a second. 